Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play I Am Sutsuna. Last time, Nadir joined our party, and, uh, Freja came and opened up the door inside the Frost Caverns, so we could go in there, or we could go to this little side area here. Okay. Huh. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, there's nothing else that can be done here, just him, so... I just thought I'd point that out. There wasn't really a better chance or a better opportunity to show that. So I figured, you know, now is as good a time as any before I go inside that cave. Also, right around here, yeah, we get some blue rock salt. And now there's one other item on the world map. I didn't realize you could find items on the world map. I was just kind of wandering around and I bumped into it. But there's one over here as well. Right there you can see flashing. Awesome. January cabbage. And now I'm going to meet you back at the cave. Okay, let's head on inside the Frost Caverns. There we go. Do you guys have anything else to say? Oh. Okay, well, I hope so. Yeah, we'll be fine. I'm not too concerned, not too worried. Uh, oh, these guys again. Well, inside this cave, you're going to want to save Setsuna's magic. If you want to use the other two people's magic, that's up to you but definitely saves the students. In fact, I would highly recommend using Endear's uh, magic attacks in this place, just to get rid of these battles a little bit faster. Then we get the Provoke skill, which we can actually equip on him, so let's do it. Oh, okay. Yeah, it works the same way as it did in uh, Chrono Trigger, although why you'd want to target Marl is beyond me. Let's head on down. Uh, from there, and if you go left here, you'll get your obligatory locked chest that we can't do anything about. And let's head over to the right. More repeats. And you can skip some of these battles if you want to, just by, you know, kind of skirting around the edges just like you could in Chrono Trigger, but I wouldn't recommend it. Some of the items in the uh, towns can be very expensive. So, yeah, you want to fight as many of these guys as possible. Okay, keep on moving right along. Let's go up here at this little point. It really is a crying shame that all the enemies in this cave are enemies that we've already seen before. Um, so, you know, I'm just skipping them, but it is what it is. Oh, look, more repeats. Okay, took care of that. Go over here, get some asparagus, and we have a save point. We all know what that means. Um, let's go ahead, and I want to change my party up just a little bit. Basically, I'm taking out Endear and putting in... Or I'm taking out Nadir and putting in Endir. They really shouldn't have made their names so similar. I don't know, it confuses me. I have a pea brain, I know. I'm a freaking moron. Whoa! Yikes! Oh, holy crap! I like how they make your entire party appear for all these cutscenes. Oh, uh, okay, so the captain knew about this thing. Oh, yeah, I guess so. Oh, that's true. Uh. And it's boss time against this turtle thing. So first things first, we're going to cast Protect on everybody. Yeah, you definitely need that here. And for you, uh, just kind of wait around until we can get an X, uh, X strike going on him. And let's use a Lightning as well. Now, Lightning doesn't deal that much damage to him, but it's something, at least. Uh. Uh, but X-Strike is totally the way to go. And you can deal a lot more damage with X-Strike than uh, Endear could do with anything else. I mean, he did have Provoke, which could come in handy. Okay, we're still good. Uh, he did have Provoke, which could come in handy uh, as far as focusing all of his attacks onto himself. But um, I don't think it's worth having Provoke and giving up X-Strike. Okay, whenever he hides in a shell, uh, we don't have a way to, like, defend, but we could just kind of stand here and gain up some momentum. So that's pretty much what I want to do. If you want to cast lightning on him, you can, but using physical attacks will do no damage to him. Magical attacks will deal double damage to him. And then getting out of his shell, he does that because he's a total bitch face. Uh, let's see, if I use aura, is... Um, I'd still have... Okay, yeah, let me use Aura. Um, and then, yeah, just kind of hang out. Oh, Aura killed Gold. Oh, that's really nice. Uh, we'll use Lightning on him, and then just wait around. Hopefully, there we go. Get him out of the shell. Use an X-Strike. Wow, I think that Aura is better than, uh, Cure. 
Like, that was really nice that I was able to cure two people. Now, the, um... What is it? The description for cure says that it cures two people, but it doesn't actually cure two people. So, that kind of sucks. Let's use lightning, see if I can't get a uh, momentum attack on it. No, of course not. My timing sucks. Okay, just kind of wait around. Yeah, it really sucks that you can't defend. You just kind of have to spend this fight waiting. Ooh, I added some added damage. Nice! And light resistance is down just in time for me to not have any more magic any more magic power to, uh, cast lightning. That's just lovely. Seriously, guy? I mean, come on. I don't have all damn day waiting around your freaking shell. Uh, you can't even do anything. Uh, just chill. We'll be fine. Yeah. We're all at high enough HP. Okay, great. Got him out of the shell. Oh, God, seriously? Are you done yet? Can you get out of your shell? Okay, so I'm just gonna use an ether and then blast the crap out of this guy with lightning because I'm sick and tired of waiting around. Oh, now you're gonna emerge. Can we just kill you? Are you dead yet? I think that you had to actually use um, lightning or some sort of magical attack to get him out of his uh, shell. That was odd that it took so long. But he's going down. Soon enough. Oh, come on. Ah! Oh, this isn't good at all. Uh, using the beam more like her. And just attack. Oh, god. This is not good. Yeah, these guys can be pretty difficult. But there we go. Got him. Oh, man. Uh, hey, made it to level 10 all around. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's true. Let's get on out of here. But thankfully, the game uh, fully restores you after each boss fight. Well, I don't know. Actually, now that I think about it. Does it fully restore you after each boss fight, or does it fully restore you because you gained the levels? Something tells you it's probably because you gained the levels. Okay, so here we are in the Flonian territories, and I guess that this thing over here is the uh, Flonian Citadel. Yeah, there we go. Let's go inside. Oh. Okay. Well, hopefully. Thanks for the uh, information. Tenderville. The Mysley Woods, really? Because we didn't get the Mycidia reference earlier whenever he was washed ashore with none of his party members after the Leviathan attack? Way to drive at home, game. Oh. Huh. I wonder if that was a Serendale. Oh, Lord Avalo. Okay. No one cares about you and your friends. Why do they always have to put these stupid little girls in JRPGs? God, they drive me nuts. Okay, yeah, get rid of her. Um, no. What is Tenderville? Could you explain? You're not going to explain. And you're not going to let us in. That's just lovely. Yeah, screw you. Show him! Huh, you've got some nerve block in my path. I'll kick your ass. Oh, um, yeah. Leave it to Setsuna to do the nice thing. Oh. Well, you did cause offense. That's a capital offense, I've gotta say. Okay, he's in the castle north of town. I'll be sure to head over there. But first, we have some exploring to do! Oh, really? Oh, well, great, awesome. We'll just go on through this place, uh... You know, following the pathway, clockwise. Oh, okay, well, that's really nice of him. Huh. Yeah, great! Maybe we can go to this Tenderville place, too. Sounds really nice. Oh. 
That's a boy? What's on your head? Like, are you sure that that's a boy? It said boy, but it looks like his, like, hair was in a bun, and he had a, uh, like a little, I don't know, a, a hairnet over it? Anyway, here we can buy all sorts of new weapons for everybody. It's upgrades all around, but it's extremely expensive. So, off screen, I'm gonna be fighting lots of monsters back in that cave to, uh, gain up enough money to afford all that stuff, and I'll cook the stuff off screen as well. Oh, Lord Dinas. The idiot son? Why do you say that? Everybody seems to really love Lord Avila. Oh, yeah, we still don't have any recipes. Eh, screw you. I'll do the advice. Um, I'll do the advice for everybody um, in the end slate. Yeah, sell all this stuff. That's the way that you gain money in this game, if I didn't tell you earlier. You only gain money through selling all of the uh, drops that you get from the various enemies. Now that we've done that, is there any kind of uh, new stuff that we can get? Ooh, shock. Oh, okay. Go ahead and pick that up. Let's see, here we go, get one of those, and thunder, grab one of those. I already have protect, yeah. Anything else? I already have aerial strike. Okay, that's it. So, moving Groovin right along, it would be nice to get aura, though, for, like, more than one person. That'd be really nice, because that ability, being able to, uh, restore two people's HP at once was very, very helpful. Another reason why Marl sucked in Chrono Trigger, and Frog was so much better. Well, yeah, Frog was better, but so was Robo. Like, why would they make the healer be the worst of the three healers? Like, why didn't they give the all-healing skill to Marl? It made no sense. Oh, but what if I need a ship? I'll burn this place to the ground! Oh, okay. Crooked Toothed Man. Wow, these uh, <laughs> these writers were these writers were pretty savage. I've got to say. Oh, yeah, it is a rather strange name. I've got to say. Look at some mid potions right there. Nice. Oh, you're really bad at your job. Or he just doesn't have to say it all that much because the guy next to him is really overcompensating. Okay, it does seem like a nice place, though. Wait, the people in Tenderville don't have to work? Yeah, no kidding, those freeloaders. Hey, get off their ass and do something. Oh, I didn't get this? Oh, a black soybean. Nice! And, uh, we still haven't just, uh, explored the right-hand side of the village, so let's go down and do that. It's pretty cool. It looks just like the thing that's sitting in Setsuna's hair. Oh. Okay, well, that's nice. Have I talked to you? Oh. Huh. Well, things seem much better now, even though you said the last pilgrimage failed, so I don't know why things would be better now. Things should be, like, really worse now, but... Eh, who knows. I'm sure we'll never hear about that again! Ooh, more treasure! Ooh, an aqua heart! Yeah, that's a, uh, another talisman. Let's see. Gives us an extra command slot and another support slot. So, that's pretty nice. Uh, makes enemies' HP visible, too. Ooh, that's really good. I'm gonna give that to uh, Endear. And can I equip any more Sprite Knights? Probably not. Oh, Shock. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll go ahead and give that to him. So I have Cyclone, Aura, and Shock for right now. I still can't equip that Wall ability. Oh, but you can equip the End Thunder ability. No, nothing for you. Okay, so we're good. So, let's move right along. The Thunder ability, if I went by it too fast or if I didn't talk about it, it basically enchants your sword with light elemental uh, attack power, so that's pretty nice. And whenever you defeat a monster and you hit it with, like, light or fire or ice, it'll drop different items based upon which element you kill it with. Or if you just kill it, like, with um, a regular physical hit, it'll just drop its normal drop or its rare drop. Uh, if you kill it with a status effect on it, it'll drop a separate drop as well. So, all these monsters have tons of different drops, and you get those various drops by uh, killing the monsters with different attacks and trying different strategies. So, that is a way that the game pretty much forces you to use all the different skills and to go around and experiment, which I kind of like, 
Although, I've gotta say, in a game like this, where you need the drops in order to get skills, that I could understand that being kind of obnoxious. So, I think that that's everybody in town. Let's just go out of here. And there's one last thing that I want to show you. Yeah, it's this over here. Our obligatory locked chest. So, like I said last time, I'm going to go through and um, go back to those frost caves, fight some monsters, get some gold to afford all the new weapons, and then next time on Let's Play I Am Setsuna, we're going to go and talk to Lord Avalo. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.